I'm racers Marshall Pruitt, free practice one, Portland Grand Prix IndyCars penultimate round. It's that flowery word that makes you sound smarter than you is. Got the first day of IndyCar done here at Portland, a single 75 minute practice session led by Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan Racing's Christian Lungard. This guy is seriously telling us and showing us that while 2023 might not be the year for a title bid, knowing that the team got off to a slower start than desired, if they maintain this form, we have every reason to believe Christian Lungard will be in the title conversation next year. He's that good and they can get that much better to make them a serious force. So really happy for them. Our guy Kyle Kirkwood from Dreddy Autosport P2. Alex Pillow, pole sitter here, race winner here, championship leader as the sun comes out. P3, so a little bit of a, a cool mix here of young, super young talent up front. Pato Award right behind them in P4 and his teammate Felix Rosenquist. P4 and P5 for Errol McLaren. Davey Malukas, Dale Coyne Racing, P6. Truly, this is all young guns really flexing here on a Friday in Portland. A uh, little fun throwback to last weekend. Davey Malukas, Scott McLaughlin from Team Penske, got into it on track a bit. It really did piss off McLaughlin. Came up to Malukas during the podium functions afterwards and said, we have beef, and then said a word that is not very nice. It kind of sounds like you're setting a schedule to meet someone a few days later. This was a Sunday, so said, we have beef, and then something along the lines of, see you next Tuesday. Uh, Davey wasn't aware. Davey thought he actually said something positive. Uh, I asked him and he said, oh, I thought he said, you're a beast. I'm like, yeah, that, that wasn't what he said, Davey. But another nice little note here today as well, just talking about young talent. Renus VK, P8 for Ed Carpenter race, and they haven't had a lot of those days. So championship leader right towards the front. Hello's teammate Scott Dixon did not have the opening day that he wanted, was nowhere near his expected pace. We had a lot of folks going off, a little bit of contact here, there, Colton Herta. Uh, turned in a little too sharply, smacked the inside wall in turn one, did a little bit of suspension bending. Uh, Felix went off and touched the barrier a little bit. We had a lot of folks making smaller mistakes, nothing big, nothing really big and comprehensive. So we're good on that front. We come back tomorrow morning, we're on track at 9 a.m., then we qualify, then we have warm up at the end of the day. So one session today, 75 minutes late in the afternoon. Saturday, we're on track three times. Things get pretty busy. Plus late right now, we're about to do USF 2000 race where Simon Sykes could clinch the championship. After that tonight, we have USF Pro 2000 race. Miles Rowe could indeed clinch as well. So IndyCar's done for the day. We got the kids who are out trying to win things, get big advancement prizes to move up courtesy of Cooper Tires, Anderson Promotions, and all the great supporters there. Final weekend for Cooper Tires, but let's talk to our guy, Yuri Vips from Ray Hall Edelman Lanigan Racing real quick. But you want to talk about making a statement, this kid, P15 in his first ever IndyCar session on track with 27 other cars. Really impressive, really happy for him. Let's talk to Yuri, and then we'll speak to you tomorrow. That's Yuri Vips. He's quick like a bunny. He just finished his very first IndyCar practice session not P27, P15. That's yeah. impressive, young man. We gotta get you over to the scales real quick, but give us a quick impression. First time, full field. What'd you like about this? Uh, just overwhelmed with emotion, to be honest, because I've just been out of the car for so long. Yeah. You know, so just to get back into it, um, already yesterday, I just, you know, couldn't wipe the smile off my face, uh, knowing that I'm jumping in the car today, so. Um, yeah, so happy to finally get back in a car, but now the work starts, you know, because P15 is not what we race for, you know, so. Look at that, he's an animal already, <laughs> and he's going to go to sleep tonight. Everything he's learned, he's going to process, going to come back, should be faster even tomorrow, so you're here, we're rooting for you, son. Yeah, Hope the you. rest of your weekend goes well. Yeah, thank you so much, Marshall.